Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the fourth day of April. Here we go. Today's halacha is about dipping the maror into the charosis. You know, right before we eat the maror, the bitter herbs, we dip them into the charosis. The charosis is a mixture of like apples and wine and nuts and things like that, and it's all sweet. And your standard mistake, I bet you could tell where I'm going, standard mistake that people who don't like the taste of mora, and let's face it, who does like the taste of the bitter herbs? Nobody really likes it so much. So since you have to dip it in the charosis anyway, some people like really, really, really dip it in there, get tons of charosis all over the marar, and then eat the bitter herbs or the marar with the yummy taste of charosis all over it. And that, as you could tell, right from the get-go of this halacha, that's not proper. It's not proper to drain out, to drown out the taste of the bitter herb by having um, tons of charosis all over it. It's going to surprise you, but one of the reasons that we dip the uh, bitter herbs in the charosis is because um, there's, um, again, it's going to sound unusual to you, but there's some kind of um, poison or something that could harm us inside of the bitter herbs. And when dipped into the charosis, this is what the Talmud tells us, when dipped into the charosis, it causes that, uh, that poison to be dissipated. It doesn't have to get all over the mara to do this, just a touch of the bitter herbs inside of the mara causes this to go away. And therefore, it's just really supposed to be a touch. Also, you know that it's the, uh, the charosis is a sign of the mortar or the brick. Um, that the Jews had to use when they built all that stuff for the Egyptians and dipping our bitter herbs in the charosis, the sign of the, the mortar and the brick that we were forced to build, of course reminds us of all the bitterness. But either way, whatever the reason is, it is you're supposed to be tasting the taste of bitter herbs, not the taste of bitter herbs drowned out by the sweet taste of charosis all over it. So dip your marar, your bitter herbs, gently into the charosis, shake off any excess charosis that's sitting on your bitter herbs and then eat them pretty much straight. That's the law. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.